for the choir director, a maskil of the sons of Korah, as the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul pants for you, O God. Psalm 42, 1. Blessed in the Psalms 4. The living God, our only resource. Sometime after the rapture of the church, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 17, Satan will be cast out of heaven and thrown down onto earth. Revelation 12, 9. This will start a very challenging period in human history. The believers will face tremendous persecutions allowed by God for three and a half years. Chapter 12, 13 to 17. Chapter 13, 7, 15. Before this will take place, the temple will be rebuilt in Jerusalem and its service reinstituted. A remnant of godly Israelites will participate in the festivities. Psalm 42, 4. However, right after Satan's fall from heaven, the temple will become a place of idolatry. Revelation 13, 14. 2 Thessalonians 2, 3 to 4, 8. The faithful believers will flee, just as the Lord Jesus told them to do in that situation, Matthew 24, 15 to 22. We should interpret Psalm 42 to 46 in the context of those future events, Matthew 24, 15. However, applying these Psalms to ourselves, we may draw practical lessons from them, keeping in mind that their interpretation is according to what the Lord Jesus told his disciples. Here the word masco comes in, which means instruction. See the title of Psalm 42. Some of Korah's sons had distanced themselves from their father's rebellion, and they did not perish in God's judgment. Similarly, the future godly Jewish remnant will flee from Satan's blatant idolatry. Those faithful believers will cry out to God for help and will be sustained by his resources. Psalm 43, 3. As Elijah was fed by ravens and drank from the brook, so God will support them. He used remarkable means for Elijah, like the widow of Zarephath, who cared for him. 1 Kings 17. God provided in trying circumstances, and he does so for us now, and he will continue to do so in the future. Revelation 12, 14, Alfred E. Bauter.